ghost there's ghostesses ghost amongst us at the uh, whiskey uh, prison ghost tour at the ghost tour we're live from um, the whiskey prison in mount pleasant north carolina uh gonna talk to you a little bit today about some conviction bourbon conviction you need to join us So, uh, man, uh, out here, coming up live, um, Southern Grace Distilleries, Mount Pleasant. We're talking about Conviction Bourbon. There's actually, uh, they're having what they call the ghost tour tonight. It's Friday night, not even Halloween, but uh, they're out here doing a tour at night. Yeah, awesome place to be. Um, I can't imagine I, I haven't done the ghost tour yet. Uh, I'm afraid of ghosts, Charles. <laughs> well... Give me a few more drinks and we'll go do this bad boy. <laughs> yeah. Well, based on the award that they just won in Louisiana, uh, Gold Award. Bourbon Fest in New Orleans, uh, gold winner for their uh, small batch bourbon, man. Awesome stuff, right? Amazing. So when a North Carolina bourbon can go against Kentucky straight bourbons, uh, it's a good day. It's a good day anytime. So we're really excited to uh, to share something with you today. Uh, 107 proof right out of the barrel. Um, interesting for this, right? I uh, understand. So the story behind this uh, from um, Miss Emily back here, um, kind of catching us up. So it went in the barrel at 100 proof. It came out at 107, right? So, um, um, and I mean, I'm telling you, it's almost, it's butterscotchy. I mean, the first little uh, nose on that, I mean, I just got butterscotch. I don't know where that, I don't know where that come from, but. Uh, so, my nose is a little different. It's a little floral for me. You doing a little Jack and Jill on you? Well, I'm going Jack and Jill here because I'm trying to get it all. The first ones were just both. But so, and that's what I enjoy about the power this is, of suggestion. Yeah. You said floral, and of course, I say floral, guys. It's my floral. nose went right floral now, so huh? It's the power of suggestion. I love it. Is it the power? Yeah, all right. So, we have not uh shocked the palate here yet, Charles. Why is that important again? We keep talking about that. Well, for especially for people that are new, listen. New folks, um, you know, you're going to go out and do a tasting. First of all, you, you don't shoot the thing, right? You don't just blast it. Uh, you can, uh, but you're going to lose uh, our ability to pull out those flavors. But uh, so the first sample, the first taste, I don't care what it is. It can be 107. It could be 80 proof. That first that first sip is going to blast your taste buds. And, and you really got to do that. So the first sips, don't even try to analyze that. Just kind of put a little sip in there. You want to just kind of get it around. I almost treat it, it's almost vulgar what I do with it. I treat it almost like mouthwash. Because I really want to just shock my mouth and get it over with. And, um, and then wait a few minutes and let that settle in. Get your second sip. Then you're gonna really start pulling out what's there. Third sip. That's when the magic will get there for you. So, first sip, just go ahead and get it over with. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get it over with. Yes, it is, right? We got the first ghost tour entering the building now. They're gonna oh, do a yeah. little tasting. So it's kind of interesting how uh, this all comes together. Us having our first taste and the first tour has made its way into the building um, here in Mount Pleasant, North Carolina. Wow. So, um, first sample. Listen, I, I'm just going to cheat. I cheated. I'd already shocked my palate anyway. Um, the depth, the complexities, the, it's very forward up on my palate. And um, 107 proof, uh, it'll get your attention. Um, 
it's it's not it's not there is no burn back here at all, folks. This is and no this hug. Is, I'm not getting a hug yet, but I'll, I'll probably get that. But uh, just knowing that it's 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 enjoyable, and uh, and what I like about it is staying with you. Just you get that sip, and you and it just doesn't go away. So this is uh, in Mount Pleasant, North Carolina. We're about. Um, 20 minutes north of Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, kind of interesting uh, destination location. I think my partner in crime here, Charles, has cheated on me tonight. So you, I, you don't think I caught that, but I did. I, I, so, you've already shocked your palate in Mount Pleasant, North Carolina. Well, I did. So, so not far from the whiskey prison, there's a little place down here. So. Um, very popular amongst folks out this way, but um, so 73 in Maine, uh, fantastic place. Um, the the um, folks there are bourbon uh, fanatics. I mean, or, I shouldn't say fanatics. They're connoisseurs. They love it, and they love being able to provide um, atmosphere, education, whatever you want to call it, and enjoy. Um, bourbons and so in their bourbon area I think the antique stuff they have um, 38 close to 40 stuff you don't, you don't find it anywhere um, and so uh, yeah so I was over there uh, made it out of the Charlotte got out of town a little bit early um, and so I said well I'll just stop in here have a little bourbon and uh, enjoy myself here and just kind of chill before uh, we get over here set up for the podcast and everything. And so, he cheated. Listen, he <laughs> cheated on me. You hear that? He, he started out already. So um, really excited to get the, uh, the first tour is coming through now. We're going to take a little bit of break, and then uh, we'll get back to you in just a minute.